If you're a home buyer and you are looking for a loan with a low rate, low monthly payment, and low down payment, stick around and become familiar with USDA loans. Who qualifies for these USDA loans? Are they a good loan? Are they better than FHA? Are they better than VA, conventional? Can USDA loans be used as a fixer upper or to build a house? Can you buy a manufactured home with a USDA loan? All of these questions are things that people who want to understand what USDA loans are, where to get them, and what kind of credit you need to have is what we're gonna cover in this video. I'm Megan Marsh, owner of Keystone Alliance Mortgage, a mortgage brokerage that we built because we believed in our clients and dreams and were willing to fight relentlessly for them by having programs like the USDA loan. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notifications when we release a video each week that could help you and propel you forward and get you into a home this year. So let's start with what a USDA loan is and how it works. So USDA loans are like all the other loans that we've talked about on this channel. They're loans that are approved and issued by banks, the banks you drive by and brokers like Keystone. But unlike conventional loans where banks decide, USDA is one of those government loan types. But it is worth noting that USDA loans of the three government loan types is the only one that has two distinct programs that are available to you as a home buyer. And when you compare this to FHA or VA, FHA and VA, all of their loans are financed through a bank or a broker. With USDA, a portion are with banks and brokers and a portion go directly to USDA. Let me just quickly talk about what the differences are between USDA, FHA, and VA. So as a quick refresher, these three government loan types, we have a video for FHA, the Federal Housing Administration, and we've talked about VA loans, which is the Veterans Administration. USDA is the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which means that when banks lend money, the government entity, the Department of Agriculture, backs the bank so that they will not lose as much money if a homeowner who uses a USDA loan can't make their payments anymore. So the banks feel really comfortable with these loans. USDA is the largest provider of loans from the federal government for single family homes in rural areas throughout the United States. There are over 2,000 offices located throughout our country, so there's most likely one very close to where you live. The two types that you, of loans that USDA offers is one is the USDA Direct. That's the one that you apply, apply directly with USDA. And then there's the USDA Guaranteed Program and that's the one where you apply with a bank or through a broker like Keystone. So first, I just wanna fill you in on the direct program. Like, how would you know or why would you go directly? So the direct program is the program where you directly go to the USDA office. And that program, you have to fall within a low to a very low income category. And you have to also prove that you are without decent, safe, and sanitary housing. The house that you buy, it has to be less than 2,000 square feet. It can't have a swimming pool. And they do have some special features of these loans, like it, the payback period's 38 years versus the guaranteed program that we offer. We partner with USDA and one of our lenders. And there's really only two main restrictions of the USDA program, the guaranteed program. And that is the income of the household, and then where the house is located. In my opinion, the income for the guaranteed program, it is much higher. It goes based off of 115% of the area median income, and you can look that up online to see because every area, every state is gonna be different. I did wanna note though, before moving into the guaranteed program, which is what we're gonna be discussing more today in this video, that USDA does have a home improvement loan where you can borrow up to an extra $20,000. And they also have a program called their Housing Repair Loan and Grant, which was created to help restore and repair homes for borrowers that are over 62 by giving them up to $7,500 to help repair their homes. So a lot of people will ask, is USDA loans better than FHA or conventional? In my, in my opinion, Yes, I think USDA loans are one of the best loan options available to 
consumers and home buyers right now. And here's why. So the first reason, down payment. There is no down payment, it's zero. And the only other loan you can do that is a VA loan, but you have to be a veteran. Number two, the mortgage insurance is a lot lower on USDA loans than it is on a FHA loan or even conventional loans. And number three, the USDA loans, just like FHA and VA, they have a funding fee or a guarantee fee. But instead of that funding fee being 1.75% like FHA or with VA, it's two and, and higher than 3%. With USDA, it's only 1%. So if you buy a house for 200,000, put zero down, your loan amount's 200, the guarantee fee is $2,000 and it rolls into the loan. You do not have to bring that to closing. So if you're wondering, do I qualify for USDA? How do I figure out if I qualify? Anyone who fits within USDA's defined parameters can use a USDA loan. So let's go over what some of the parameters are and we're gonna start out by just talking about the general qualifications. You have to be a US citizen, a US non-citizen national or a qualified alien. Now, the house must be in an area that USDA considers rural, which in their terms, they have maps. That's a population of less than 35,000 people in the areas that they section out. There is a website and map that we check all the time. You can check too by putting an address in. So we'll put a link in the description and that will allow you to go in and see if maybe the house you're looking at or a house that you know falls within the USDA area. Income caps is a big part of USDA loans. And the income cap that they look at is based on household size. And every area is different. So for example, Erie PA, where we live, a household of one to four people cannot go above 90,300 combined. But in State College, where one of our other offices is, it's 104,000. And then if you go all the way to Philadelphia, it's 111,000. So it really does depend. Credit scores are another area I like to talk about because most of these government programs do not say, here's our minimum credit score. They allow the banks to decide where they feel comfortable. And I have seen banks that will not do USDA loans under a 640 or a 660. There are lenders who will do them down to a 620 and they'll sometimes even go a little bit lower, but USDA is definitely a little stricter with the debt to income ratios and where they wanna see your credit. USDA also does like to see that borrowers have trade lines, meaning things that have been on your credit report for some time. They wanna see at least two credit scores. If you don't have a credit score, it is very difficult to get a USDA loan. And they also don't like collections. Where other programs will allow you to have collections and charge offs, USDA is not one of them and it's up to the underwriter's discretion. Now, USDA has their own calculation of how they will allow you to calculate student loans. So it could be a good option if you're thrown out of FHA having to use 1%. But one big thing is that you cannot own another home. So if you own another home in another area and you're moving to an area and it's eligible, you can't use USDA, but you can use it if you've sold your home and are purchasing another one. One really great feature of USDA loans that cause problems if you are trying to go with FHA, for example, is when you find a house that has been flipped. So meaning somebody buys it, they fix it up and they sell it. FHA will not allow you to buy a house that's been flipped within the last 90 days. You can't do it. And even after 90 days, it requires two appraisals. USDA doesn't have this rule and it's a great option. Can USDA loans be used on a fixer upper or to build a home? I get that question or can I use USDA to buy a manufactured home? If you're talking to Keystone who works with 25 lenders, the answer is no, no and no. But sometimes yes, because there are, USDA does have the options to purchase a manufactured or to do new construction, but it is so few and far between and it's been difficult even as a lender to find other lenders out there who will do it. So you are gonna be on the hunt if you are looking to do one of those things. 
USDA also has some strict standards that they want to make sure that the house that you're buying is safe. So buying something that needs work is very, very difficult. They want it all fixed up and ready and safe when you're moving into it. Another question we hear a lot is, will USDA ever cover closing costs? And yes, they will. There are two ways to do this. So the first way, which you can use in any other loan type as well, is through seller's assistance. You ask the seller to cover the costs and in essence, it helps reduce what you need at closing to where I've seen some borrowers purchase a home with USDA, zero down payment and closing costs covered and altogether they need about $1,000. You can also, if you're using a brokerage like Keystone, you can use lender credits. And last but not least, if the home, let's say you don't get seller's assist and no credits are available. If the home appraises higher than the purchase price, let's say you buy it for 100 and it appraises for 105, USDA will allow you to use that equity, which is not allowed in any other program. The interest rates are very similar to FHA and VA. You can do a 30 year or a 15 year loan and they do follow the market. And like I shared a little bit earlier in the video, the premiums are different. Those funding fees and even the monthly mortgage insurance is lower on USDA loans than it is with FHA, VA, and sometimes conventional. So where do you go to get these USDA loans? And as with every loan type, each bank decides if they want to underwrite and lend and partner with USDA. So if you're applying for the USDA direct loan, you will go find one of those 2000 offices if you don't qualify for the super low income category, that's when you're gonna to need to figure out what bank or going to a broker like Keystone is going to be your best bet because they're gonna have multiple lenders and know which ones offer that guaranteed program. So now I wanna talk about the loan process. USDA loans have the same process as any other loan type out there. The biggest difference in, with a USDA loan is that you have to disclose the household income. And that means if you are getting a house and let's say one person's on the loan, but the other person is not, you typically don't have to provide the other person's documents. With USDA, because of that income limitation, every single member of the household has to provide pay stubs and W-2s. And then where I've talked about the stage in the mortgage process and other videos where you get a clear to close as those magic words that send you to closing, USDA still has an additional step that other loans do not. When your loan's cleared to close, you still the, your file still has to actually go to USDA to have them sign off on your file. And right now USDA is only taking about two to three days to review a file and do that check mark before then it goes back and now you can close. But there have been times over the past 15 years where we've seen it taking USDA a month, two months to get that approval, which was super frustrating. So that would be a great question to ask the lender that you're working with. What is USDA's turn times once my loan with you, the bank is all done? So the bottom line is that Every year, USDA helps thousands of families purchase a home with very little out of pocket and at extremely low interest rates. I recommend that anybody who is buying in an area that's not a city and possibly could be on the USDA maps, ask your lender to check if the home is eligible and make sure you ask if they do USDA loans. And I've been surprised over the years at the homes that could go USDA. And if somebody doesn't look, you're not gonna get the benefits of this program. If you'd like to learn more about either of the USDA's loan programs or start the qualifying process, all you need to do is click on the link in the description and someone from our team will reach out, schedule a time to talk with you. This is 100% free. There's no payment required. We will be there to guide, answer questions, point you in the right direction. I hope that this video gave you the insight that you're looking for and that you will join us for more information on our next video. And if you know someone who could benefit from this information and a USDA loan, please share this video with them. Hit that sub subscribe button, hit the bell to get further notifications. And if I didn't answer one of the questions that you have, we would love to see your feedback in the comments and we will make sure we answer that question for you.